Hello everyone, Jeff Cote here with another session on Boating Tech Talk. Um, today we've got a question from a fellow boater named Eric. And Eric was on our website and Eric was trying to figure out shopping for a battery monitor for his boat. Smart, shopping for a battery monitor. If you any of you don't have a battery monitor and you want to geek out, we have a whole section on battery monitors. I'm a big believer um, in knowing where you are in terms of amp hours on your boat and also the discharge and charge uh, of your battery bank. It gives you the voltage. It's pretty awesome. Battery monitors really take the guesswork out of knowing where your battery bank is, specifically for deep cycle batteries. So Eric asks, Jeff, I was looking at installing a Victron battery monitor. Specifically, he's talking here about the BMV 7112 Bravo Mike Victor 7112. Um, on my boat, and I noticed on your website that you're also promoting um, the Victron Smart Chunk. What is the difference and where would I use it? Okay, great question. First little recap, I talked about a battery monitor. A battery monitor effectively for a boat is a device um, that is both a speedometer and also an odometer for your batteries, meaning it's gonna calculate uh, how much amp hours you've taken over a period of time. So it knows that because it's actually is constantly measuring current. It does measure its current through a shunt. Uh, that device is has a known resistance and um, basically what you're measuring is the millivoltage differential across two posts to calculate current. As we know, V, voltage, is equal to I, current, and R, resistance. So simple little formula. Uh, but the bottom line is for boaters, why it's so useful is you're going to be able to know what the current uh, going in or out of your batteries are and also knowing what the amp hours, the capacity of your battery bank at any given point. Now, of course, all of this is an approximation. It's not 100% accurate, but it certainly beats feeling or simply just projecting what's happening in your battery bank. All right. So a little refresher on batteries monitors. If you've got more questions. Lots of videos on YouTube, lots of videos on our website, lots of articles, there's probably well over a hundred uh, articles on that topic. Okay, so now to the question for Eric. So um, at the end of the day, a typical battery monitor includes a display. So the shunt is installed somewhere close to your house battery bank um, or the battery bank that you want to monitor. And that generally is the house battery bank. Battery monitors are more for deep cycle applications and not for uh, starter applications, okay? So generally when we deploy battery monitors on our boats, we deploy them on the deep cycle side. So that's one thing. Now, if you're considering uh, installing a battery monitor in your boat, but you really don't have a place where to mount the monitor per se, and or actually even another reason might be that really the display, there's no real good place to have the monitor itself. So then you could go and deploy a smart shunt. So a smart shunt basically does everything that a battery monitor does, except it actually does not come with a display. So you can easily see that information on Bluetooth via Victron has an app. So you could look at, and I've got boaters that do this, by the way, we will install a smart shunt in the engine room and realistically doing a cable run inside the boat on some boats it's just it's insane it's like six eight hours ten hours on big boats to run a cable from somewhere to another place it's a huge obstacle so if you're fine with looking at what's happening at your batteries on your phone then a smart shunt might be for you the other thing to consider is that also victron sells a bigger suite of products victron is an awesome company uh, and part of that, um, they basically have this Touch 50 or 70 and they have this Servo GX. And you can actually now tie in a smart shunt via a VE cable um, directly to the Servo. So meaning now you can have your um, five inch Touch 50 or Touch 70 display from Victron and you can actually see battery monitor information on that display. So as opposed to having a battery monitor display and then having a touch 50, a, like a touch screen from Victron, you can collapse the battery monitor and simply have the battery monitor information show up on your touch 50. So big fan of smart shunts, especially for boats that don't have a place to mount the display and or, like I said, the cable routing. Cable routing for battery monitors can be a real hassle and it might be all, the hardest part of installing a battery monitor is running the cable between the display and the shunt. 
So if you're on the fence, um, it really depends on what you're trying to do. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is get a battery monitor either like Eric was asking the BMV 712, which is a Bluetooth enabled with display, or get a smart shunt. They come in 500 amp, 1000 amp. Um, there's a few different flavors and buy that and either show it on your smartphone via the Victron app or have it connected to your Touch 50 or 70 that is also from Victron. So both are great products and it really depends on how much hassle it's gonna be to run that cable and if you really need a display. So that's a great question, Eric, and thanks for asking. I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more of this cool content. And also check out our website if you've got questions that are unanswered. We've actually taken the time to answer quite a few questions, and you might be surprised to find the answer right there on our website. So thanks again.